You're listening to Becoming Wildly Resilient, brought to you by University of Kentucky Human Resources Health and Wellness. Join us as we explore tools, practices, meditations, and conversations with members of the UK community. Together, we will discover how we can thrive at work, home, and beyond. Hello, my name is Jackie. I'm a health coach with UK Health and Wellness. I am thrilled and honored today to share a meditation practice around the topic of social connection. If you know anything about me, I love people. I love all kinds of ways that we can be connected. It's been a joke that I could be a greeter at any organization because I could literally strike up a conversation with anybody. If that's you, great. And if it's not you, great. All of us as humans, that's how we're made. We are made to be connected. We are made to feel like we belong. We are made to feel we're not alone. So in our meditation today, Let's stay open and curious about how we can add more social connection to our life. Sitting back with your eyes closed, preferably, and breathing. Just be breathing wherever you are and notice if you've seen anybody today, they're also breathing. If you've seen anybody today, they're also yearning for connection. No human escapes this desire to want to feel like they're not alone. They belong and they're wanted and appreciated. If you think about your deepest desire for adding social connection. You can participate in making these social connections deeper, even if it takes a little bit of courage. Going back to your breathing and back to the ideas and examples that Amy shared in the practice. Where are people that have common ground, that same stage of life or interest that you have? What friends of your friends might you resonate with? What types of groups, volunteer groups, spiritual groups, sporting groups, would you love? Who have you noticed recently that you thought to yourself, wow, I think they're interesting. I'd really like to get to know them. Instead of waiting for someone to approach you, what if you took the courage and sent them a text and asked them, hey, let's grab coffee. Let's go for a walk. For me, I would say, let's go do yoga. (laughs) Whatever it is, Find somebody that you could reach out to and that would get the ball rolling because that person could lead to another connection. Not that you have to have a zillion friends, but meeting new people, 
learning about other people's lives is truly what being human is made for. We're made for connecting, talking, supporting, encouraging, and allowing each other to be who we are, validating who we are. Maybe nobody comes to mind at this moment. But as you go through your day or week, look. Look for the opportunity to ask somebody to do something that's out of the norm with you be the one to make that connection. You'll never know. It could turn into a lasting friendship for years to come. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I wish you an amazing week. And let your eyes blink open with a smile. I'm grateful you are about to go make somebody's day. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful rest of your day and take good care. Thank you for listening to Becoming Wildly Resilient. This podcast is brought to you by University of Kentucky Human Resources Health and Wellness. We offer a wide range of online and in-person services to support the well-being of UK employees, retirees, and their spouses. You can find experts in mental health, personal resilience, nutrition, and physical activity. We're ready to meet you where you are and address your unique needs. To learn more about the work, life, and well-being services offered by UK Human Resources, visit hr.uky.edu slash wellbeing. You can also connect with us on social media and YouTube by searching at UKY Wellness or by email at healthandwellness at uky.edu.